Trust your first impressions. What are you imagining to be there? There's a, um, the sky is like almost like a permanent sunset and it looks like pink and purple. It's like wispy clouds. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. What else do you see around? What's the terrain like where you are? Rocky. Mm-hmm. What color are these rocks? Like grayish. Mm-hmm. Do you see any any other life form around besides the rocks? Any trees? Yeah, there are like these little things coming out of the ground that are like pointy. They're like What color are they? I guess they're crystals. Mm-hmm. What color are the crystals? They're like, it's quartz. Mm-hmm. It's like really shiny though. It's like, um, not really transparent. Mm-hmm. It's like when it glistens, it's like golden and, and pink and purple. Mm-hmm. How many of these crystals do you see around you? Everywhere. Everywhere. What else do you see around you? There's like this bridge mm-hmm. that's made out of whatever the earth is. It's whatever the ground is made out of. It's like the. Uh, it's like a bridge that wants me to walk across, I suppose. Mm-hmm. And like there's whatever is underneath is like the same as whatever the sky is. It's that same like purpley, pinky color. Mm -hmm. I don't see anyone else. Do you feel you have a body there? Focus on yourself, the observer. Look down and see if you have a body. What do you imagine your body to look like? A man. Mm-hmm. I'm something. I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm a being. Mm-hmm. Uh, broad shoulders. Big. B- big presence. Mm-hmm. Look down at your feet. Like those sandals that are like. Ropey. Mm -hmm. Like Jesus sandals, I suppose. Mm Mm-hmm. What does your body look like? I'm wearing like a, uh, it's almost like a cape that covers, but it's like come, comes down in the front, covers the front. There's no, it's just like a, I suppose it's a robe. Mm Mm-hmm. I can't really tell my body. Can you see your face? It's like a man face. Mm-hmm. A strong bone structure. I can't really mm-hmm. say specifically. Mm-hmm. Do you look human? I don't think I'm human. Mm -hmm. You had said a being. Being. Mm -hmm. What does this being remind you of? Metatron. Mm -hmm. Very serious and very purposeful. Mm -hmm. No nonsense. Do you feel that you are this being? I 
I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Connect? What's your first impression? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's see what it is that you're doing there. What is this place? Place to recharge. A place to recharge. Mm-hmm. So do you go here to recharge your energy? Yes. Mm-hmm. So tell me a little bit more. The crystals. Tell me all about this place. What do the crystals do for you? anything anymore. Mm-hmm. So all you have to do is know. Let's close that scene and let's go now to another scene that has impact on you. I want you to go drifting and floating through time and space to find another place and another time where there's their information that will help you the very best way. Be there now. What are you experiencing there? The first thing that pops into your mind. Use all of your senses. It could be perhaps colors, shapes, sensations. What do you feel? See if you have a connection with Metatron. I'm going to count from one to three and allow the voice to speak. One, two, and three. Good morning. Morning. Are you Metatron? Yes. Thank you very much for being here today. Could you tell me why you showed Roseanne this planet with crystals? Where she comes from. Mm. Can you tell her a little bit about who she was on this planet? Did she have a physical body there? Was she that man? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you tell her a little bit about who that man is? Who is that man? She had said it was you. What do you want to say to her? Is she an aspect of you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this the first time she's been on this earth? Yes. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you're trying to do now? 
What's the mission? Raise the vibration. Mm-hmm. How is that? She's remembering. Mm. She's having some trouble right now. Mm-hmm. That's okay. I I had to remind her. She can feel it now in her body. Mm-hmm. What is she feeling? She's feeling very lightheaded and very tingly. This is what. This is what her home feels like. She had to get used to the energy. Mm -hmm. We are one. I am her. She is me. (sighs) Is she having a hard time accepting that? Yes, she doesn't believe it. Mm. Oh, tell her some stuff to make her believe. She doesn't believe her power could be that great. Mm. But it can, she can, she's very powerful. Well, she says that she was given the ability to see auras. Yes. Mm hmm. How can she use that gift? She can help balance out the energy. She can see who has the bad energy, Mm -hmm. who has the bad intentions. She can see who she needs to be connecting with. She can see. She can tell with the energy. She can use her crystals, quartz crystals. Help raise the vibration. How can she use these quartz crystals as a tool? How big do they need to be? It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It could be small or big. Mm-hmm. Just depending on how you decide to use them. So what's the best way for Roseanne to use her crystals? Being that she comes from this planet of crystals. Just keep them around. Mm -hmm. They help to remind her of who she is. Mm -hmm. The one that she's wearing today, is that a special one for today? today? No, this is for school. Mm -hmm. Okay. So should she be wearing one when she does spiritual work? Yes, and just keeping them around, use them as tools Mm -hmm. to raise the vibration and bring in the energy. Mm -hmm. She needs to make sure to clear the energy also. How does she do that? Place them in the moon, the Mm -hmm. full moon, the Mm -hmm. light of the moon. Mm -hmm. Or just set the intention to clear them with with water. Very good. Well, she says that she often worries that she's letting her ego get in the way of spiritual growth. How can she get that, keep that under wraps? <clears throat> this is not ego. This is, this is us. Mm-hmm. It's reminding her who she is. Keeping her on track. Making sure that she keeps her vibration high. She has a very high vibration. She's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Who are her guides, the one that talked to her? She has several guides. Mm -hmm. Do they have names? She talks to John. Mm Mm-hmm. Who is John? John of God. Mm Mm-hmm. Who else? And all the archangels. And the archangels? Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. She had mentioned an Andrew. Who's Andrew? He was a former guide. Mm. 
temporary. Temporary. Mostly just John. Mm-hmm. The Archangels. And how do you fit in Metatron? You say you're an aspect of her. Yes. Are you like her higher self? Yes. Mm-hmm. Good. She wants to know if she travels to other dimensions when she's sleeping. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where does she go? Everywhere. Mm-hmm. Does she remember? Sometimes. Mm-hmm. Does she go by herself or does she go with others? We go together. Mm-hmm. Is there a purpose for her going to other dimensions? Does she have a job there? To learn. Mm -hmm. To remember. Mm -hmm. Good. She wants to know a little bit about her career. Right now she's studying geology. Is it the right path for her? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does that have anything to do with her love of crystals? Yes. Mm -hmm. So how can she use this degree on her spiritual path? She will discover where th the crystals came from. Mm -hmm. That information will be significant many people. She will help develop a timeline and be able to trace back when and how the crystals formed on earth, which will bring her fulfillment and also help others. So actually what she's doing is paving a path for her spiritual life ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm, very good. Well, right now she is in a current job, a family business. Should she remain in that job? If she wants to. Mm -hmm. Is that teaching her anything? Patience. It's part of the process. Mm -hmm. She was led there for a reason? Yes. Mm -hmm. So she should keep that? She could do both? She should stay in school. And stay with that job while she's in school and then she will figure out the career path mm -hmm. after she graduates. Okay. She wanted to know why she was still living at home. This is part of the process. Mm -hmm. Does she need to be there for a certain reason? Yes, for her mom. Mm -hmm. Her mom's company? No, she helps her mom. Mm -hmm. she, helps, she helps her whole family. Mm -hmm. So it's good that she's there? Yes. Okay. She questions about her relationships. Why does she always tend to attract the wrong people into her life? She helps just to raise the vibration. Mm. So it is, is each of these, or each of these relationships kind of like a project to raise their vibration? She has, yes. Mm -hmm. There are a certain amount of, amount of people that she has to go through as part of her mission. 
before she can fall in love. Okay. But she tells me that she dislikes being around people. Yes. If she's to raise the vibration, how can she do that if she's not around people? She can get rather irritable. Yes. She, her vibration is much higher than, than others, which is why she becomes irritable. Mm -hmm. She has to work on finding a balance. She has to help to neutralize and and also at the same time help to bring others up all right it's not easy but this is her mission she she is to work with people and she part of her process is to figure out how to achieve that how to how to be around people how to lower her vibration around people in order to help to raise the vibration overall hmm is that detrimental to her when she lowers her vibration no she she can always bring it higher mm -hmm. she knows how to do this okay the crystals will help so she should always be wearing crystals, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Quartz. Quartz is her her crystal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything else breaks around her because it's not right for her. She wore a green obsidian that she kept on dropping, breaking. Mm. It's too her vibration is too strong. Quartz is really the only thing that's high enough in vibration to withstand her her energy mm. so when something breaks on you like that because i had a crystal break on me um, in a very strange way that's because the vibration didn't match yes mm -hmm. very good why is it that she has a sexual block what's causing that She's not of the body. Mm -hmm. She doesn't get pleasure from the body. What does she get pleasure from? Source. Mm -hmm. So those people that have very little interest in sexuality, who are spiritual in nature, is that because Sex doesn't interest them. They don't get pleasure from it. They are not interested in physical pleasures. Mm -hmm. They are interested in intellectual, spiritual pleasures. It's, it's higher frequency. Physical pleasure is low frequency mm -hmm. of the body. So for those people like Roseanne that don't find pleasure or don't have interest in it it's okay yes okay very good so she doesn't really have a block she just doesn't have an interest yes okay good so how does she address that if she has the par a partner that is interested in the body's pleasure She will meet someone to match. Okay. So she still has time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it seems to her that right now a lot of her friends are getting married and she feels like she's 
running out of time. And she has plenty of time. Mm-hmm. She has a mission. She has a purpose. She's not like she's not like the others. She's mm-hmm. not like the others that get married and she's she's meant for something bigger than that. Mm-hmm. Would you tell her what what is the big picture mission? What did she come here to do? Gain knowledge and experience to educate others and help help others to align to their best frequency. She's a beacon. Mm-hmm. She attracts many people. Although she doesn't necessarily want to be around a lot of people, mm-hmm. she has the ability to influence a great number of people. And she will, and she does. And this is her mission. Did she choose that mission, or did someone give her that mission? She chose it. Mm-hmm. Has she ever incarnated in this life before, in this world? On Earth? No. Hmm. So this was a really special mission for her. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. Was there a reason why she volunteered for this at this time? She wanted the experience, the earthly experience. Before she incarnated, she did like the people. Mm -hmm. Then she came and felt the the vibration wasn't as high as her vibration. It was hard. It still is hard. Mm -hmm. How is it that she came to Earth before? Did she not have a body? Was she just observing the people? This is her first time. Mm-hmm. It was this life. Mm-hmm. When she is not on the earth, is she on that planet of the crystals? Yes. Okay. Embodying what you are? Or are there other aspects of you? Yes, other aspects of me. She's mm-hmm. just... A, a piece, a small piece. Mm-hmm. And this is the Metatron uh, piece? Yes. Okay. Do you vibrate at a certain energy? Is there something special about you that's different than the others? What do you help us with? Spiritual awareness, Mm -hmm. becoming closer to Source, remembering Source, knowing that we all come from the same. She helps people remember. Mm -hmm. That they came from Source. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I must, I I wonder at this time when there's such a spiritual awakening going on on this planet, is this because of your energy, of your mission here? Yes. Mm. When I first began doing my work, I was told that you would be guiding me quite a bit. I didn't quite understand what you did. How do you guide me in helping my clients? We help them remember. We help. And when they remember, the vibration is raised. Mm -hmm. So part of this, getting the message out via the videos has helped. Yes, Mm -hmm. very much so. You bring, you bring so much light in. You, you help them remember simply by Posting the videos. Mm -hmm. Reminding them of who they are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is part of your mission, which I am also helping with. Very good. 
now I know why you're involved. Thank you so much. Thank you. So she has questions about her health. Can you do a body scan and tell me what's going on with her body? Stomach. Mm -hmm. What's going on with that stomach? She says it's got a yucky feeling there. Something globby in there. Mm -hmm. What kind of consistency is that? It looks like mud. Like mud. Is this something attached to her stomach? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you allow me to speak with this mud and find out how we can help it today? Yes. Thank you. We'll get back to you in a moment. Let me now put my hands over this area where this mud is, and I'm going to bring it up, 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 up. Good morning. You can express yourself now. Hello. Do you have male or female energy? Male. Male. And what may I call you today? What name would you like mm. me to call you by? Mike. Mike. Mike, how long have you been in her stomach? A while. A while? Mike, did you ever have a human body before? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How old is this body? 27. 27, just like she is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what year is it for you, Mike? 1927. 1927? Yes. Mm -hmm. And Mike, how did you lose your body? I got shot. Mm. How did you get shot, Mike? Where'd they get you? Mafia. Mm -hmm. The Mafia got you? Yeah. What were you doing with the Mafia, Mike? Bad things. Mm. What kind of stuff did you do? I killed people. You killed people. I deserve to die. Mm -hmm. Where did they shoot you, Mike? In the stomach. Mm -hmm. So I imagine it's still painful there, isn't yes. it? Yes. Mike, would you like to feel better? Yes. All right, so I want you to go back to that moment when they shot you. And tell me what's happening. Got me. Mm -hmm. Tell me who got you. Frank. Frank got you? Frank. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to see your body now as it's being hit with those bullets. See your body as you lie there. And I want you to use your mind now, Mike, to heal that wound. I want you to take those bullets out and see your body completely being healed again. How does that feel, Mike? Feels better. Mm -hmm. Do you have that yucky feeling in your stomach anymore? No. No. So I'd like for you now to look at Frank and tell me what kind of relationship did you have with Frank in a different life? What did you do to him, perhaps? We were buddies. Mm. And what happened? I betrayed him. Mm. So this time it was your turn, yeah. huh? Can you forgive Frank for that? Yes. All right. So, Mike, I'm going to put my hand on your chest, and I want you to go ahead and give me all of those feelings that you've had all this time. Feelings of being betrayed. Feelings of not being a very good guy. Give me all of that. You don't need to hold on to that anymore. We're going to go to a place where that's not necessary anymore. Give that all to me. And tell me when I have it. You have it. Very good. I'm going to take that and send it to the universe. Now, Mike, what would you like to put in your heart instead? Love. All right. Feel my love coming in here from the divine. Feel that fire hose of love flooding you from head to toe. Self-love. Love for others. And now that all that love is there, I'm going to tap your forehead and let's seal that in. And now, Mike, can you forgive yourself yeah. for not going back home? 
Yes. Keeping yourself in this terrible situation. All right. So let's ask now, Roseanne, if she would forgive you for all this yucky feeling. I'm going to count from one to three. Take a deep breath in. Roseanne, have you been hearing about what Mike has been doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive him for not knowing any better? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's send him home with light and love. I want you to send your love to him. And Mike, I'm going to have the archangels surround you. I'm going to have, in particular, Archangel Zadkiel here. Zadkiel is the one for forgiveness. And you will be receiving some messages about that. And Archangel Michael will help escort you to the light. Go straight home and tell me what you see when you get there. Yeah, my mom. Your mom. Give your mom a very strong embrace. And Mike, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'd like now for Archangel Raphael to go ahead and send that beautiful healing light into Roseanne's stomach, filling it in with all of that beautiful light, healing her, removing all of that darkness, all of that yuckiness. And let me speak now with Metatron. Thank you very much for allowing Mike to go home again. Thank you. Can you tell me how the rest of her body looks? Looks good. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her left foot? She says ever since she heard it in 2011, she's had issues with her feet in general. She needs to ground herself mm. to the earth. She no. doesn't want to. What's keeping her from grounding her? She lives... She lives out of body most of the time. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for her to ground herself to, to the... to the earth. So she... she should... she should work on grounding. <clears throat> she can use stones for that too. Mm-hmm. Carnelian, mm -hmm. citrine, jade will help ground her. Mm -hmm. Does she need to hold them? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about spending more time in nature? Yes. Does she <clears throat> do that? She needs to do that. Mm -hmm. She. It's hard for her to be outside right now because she's so sensitive to to the pollutants. Mm -hmm. can, she, can she put some sort of a protection around yes. her? What kind of light would you like her to put around her? To white white, white light. light. Okay. So she before she goes out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Put that white light around her? She should her. walk barefoot. It will, it will help mm -hmm. the balance. Wonderful. Will that help her then with her feet? Yes. Good. What about the cold sores that she's had most of her life? What's it coming from? It's a fifth chakra block. Mm -hmm. She's not creative. She's not expressing her creativity. Is that causing her skin condition also? No. Okay, so let's work first on the cold sores. Yes. How can we get that chakra in, in line and in balance today? Can you help with that? Yes. Thank you. Can you tell Roseanne what she, you're using to balance it? Blue light. Mm -hmm. She should practice uh, voice exercises with the uh, chanting mm -hmm. and affirmations. Anything with a voice? Yes. Mm -hmm. What happens when you get that chakra blocked? Wreaks havoc. Mm. Is that from not expressing yourself? Yes. Mm -hmm. Causes all types of illness and uh, just very frustrating for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So if you have a blockage there, chanting, Anything with the voice will help? 
Yes. Release that. Yes, the vibrations mm-hmm. help. Yes. Any in particular chant or noise or vibration that you should use? Can you give an example of, of that? Um. Um. Yes. Mm-hmm. So the om would help? Yes. Very good. You have to draw it out, though. Mm-hmm. Draw it out for as long as you can. The mm-hmm. biggest breath. Mm-hmm. Just do it over and over and over. Very good. And that will help balance that chakra. Yes. Mm-hmm. What about the bad skin? She says she's had acne all over What's causing that? Dairy. Dairy. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's in the dairy? Hormones. Mm-hmm. Dairy. She needs to get rid of all dairy. Mm-hmm. She should be eating. She should be eating raw, mostly. Mm-hmm. Vegan. Nuts. Seeds. Only organic. Mm-hmm. Can these can these be uh, cooked, or does it need to be raw? She can cook, for, sometimes cook, mm-hmm. but mostly just raw. Very good. Very good. Well, my guides, every time I try to buy something dairy, they start chanting pus in my ears. <laughs> Not very nice. <laughs> Does it work? It works. Every time I go for cheese, I hear them going pus, pus. Yes, pus. she she struggles with cheese also. Mm-hmm. It's an addiction. It is. Mm-hmm. She says she's also been having headaches. She needs to drink more water. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's dehydrated. Yes, she needs more water than most people. Mm-hmm. Can she do something to make that water taste better? Perhaps lemon or something like that. What would, what would make her drink more water? What do you recommend? Mm. Maybe just set the intention okay. for it to cleanse. Mm-hmm. Very good. Now, she tells me that she's been taking Adderall for a long time now. Yes. For the ADD. Yes. Can you tell her how that's benefiting her or hurting her? How is it working for her? Is it helping? It helps her complete her her worldly obligations mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. It it um, she she will there will be a day when she won't need it. Okay, but for now, it's helping. Yes. Mm-hmm. So don't drop the pill. She's doing okay with them. Yes. Okay. It's helping her focus on her schoolwork. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very good. What's the reason that you brought her here today? To remind her of her mission. She doesn't like it here. Mm-hmm. But people need her here. She influences a lot of people. She makes a lot of people really happy. She's too hard on herself. Tell her about that. What does she need to do to lighten up? She needs to stop being so critical. Stop judging herself. And stop judging others as well. We all have our own path. Now I get a lot of clients who don't want to be here. They seem to be in the same position as Roseanne. They don't want to be here. They want to go home. They want to end it all. They want to know when it's done. What kind of advice or words of wisdom would you like to tell people that feel the same way as Roseanne that don't like it here? 
We all chose this path. We all chose to incarnate. We all have a mission to complete. And if our mission is unfulfilled, we will come back. So I would suggest to just try to reconnect, raise your vibration, and remember why you are here. And we have to learn to how to raise our vibration when it becomes too low. We need to learn how to protect ourselves spiritually so that our connection remains intact. Sometimes we we fall below our vibration and that's when we fall into these depressed states. Mm -hmm. But we can always we can always raise it back up. What's the best way to raise a vibration? People who are depressed just can't find their way out of that hole. Reconnect with God. Mm -hmm. ask, ask for help? Yes, ask for help. We can't help unless you ask. Mm -hmm. We have free will. So you have to ask for help. Just out of curiosity, because I use the assistance of archangels and angels all the time in my session, I can't see them, I can't feel them, but I trust they're there. Mm. Can you tell me from your side what it would look like when you are asking for assistance from all of these beings? It's more of a feeling. Mm -hmm. You can feel us around. Mm -hmm. Although you have several, several with you all the time. Who are they? Michael. All of the archangels. Mm. And many more. You have several guides helping you and assisting you all the time. And you feel them. You can feel them right now. Mm -hmm. I'm very appreciative of them. But others who want the same feeling, what do they need to do to get assistance from these awesome helpers? Just ask. We can be everywhere all the time. We are omnipresent. All you have to do is ask. But you have to ask. Is there a way that you ask for them or just ask? Just ask for ask for the assistance and guidance of the archangels. Archangels protect me while I sleep. Mm -hmm. If you yes. Mm -hmm. I've had people who are naysayers and say, "Oh, that's just a bunch of religious." hokey stuff. Why do you believe in that nonsense? What would you like to say to those? Call on us and find out. <laughs> it's a challenge, right? <laughs> Very good. Anything else that you would like to say to Roseanne today? Just keep doing what you're doing. Try to stay grounded. Remember who you are. Remember you came here to raise the vibration. We're so proud of you. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing a great job. Great. Are we complete today? Yes. Thank you very much.
Welcome back. Uh-huh. How do you feel? Uh, wow. Yeah. What a session. How did the selenite work for you? It worked really well. How does it feel? Still vibrating or yeah, it's on really fire? Warm. What is that? It's warm. It's warm. Really warm. So tell me, what do you feel about this? Did it was it a confirmation of what you thought? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I was kind of disappointed in having passed away. <laughs> you did. It was on that planet. <laughs> well, That's yeah, your life. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, your whole life here is, is this is your first life. Yeah. So you're not going to be shown something that isn't real. You were, the whole idea was really to, to connect with Metatron, who is, you are an aspect of this magnificent being. Mm-hmm. And you came here for a mission. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's like a simple, and Andre. I think you, yeah. <laughs> and then you had uh, an entity attached to you, which, yeah, it's, in your stomach. My stomach started growling after that. How does it feel? <laughs> Empty. It feels better. I feel nothing. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. What about the rest of you? Any tingling? Any other sensation around you? I feel very relaxed. That's wonderful. How long do you feel this session was? Um, maybe an hour. It was pretty short. Yeah, it's about, it's a little less than an hour. I mean, we were, we were in an induction, it was about an hour. Uh huh. But you had all your, your questions answered. Yeah. It was so weird because when I find, when it finally hit me and all the energy hit me, I really like thought I was going to pass out mm-hmm. from all that. Yeah, you started breathing a little heavier. Uh huh. Yeah, that was intense. Yeah. And it's almost like you were in disbelief for a little while mm-hmm. that that you were an aspect of Metatron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. That yeah, was, that was hard to believe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what happens when you're. I mean, you know, we look at ourselves as these humans that are nothing, you know, but we come from powerful stuff, mm-hmm. and we all are part of something much bigger. We just don't give ourselves credit for it. Mm-hmm. So, is this something that you want to share with others? Yeah. We could take some out some personal stuff out if you feel uncomfortable with it. Yeah. So here we Sounds are. Good. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know how to describe this session because it was so different. It was. So you said you were kinda of disappointed you didn't see past lives. Yeah, so tell I, everybody, you know, what you felt, what you thought you were gonna see. I thought I was gonna have several past lives. Mm-hmm. Um, but I didn't have any. I literally I went to one place and you know, Metatron was there, and at first I'm like, this looks like Metatron, but I didn't know. So what did he look like? He looked kind of like a, kind of like an action figure, like really, really? He's like big shoulders, Yeah. but he was very no-nonsense, very like, let's get to business. Uh-huh. Um, so. Could you tell his features, his hair? I mean, could you see him? You said he had a cape. Are we yeah, talking like a like superhero a, cape? It's like a robe, but it okay. was like. It came all the way and came down like this. Okay. And what so, about his hair? I don't particularly you know, really, remember. It, you were just now. looking at his face. I just, his presence. It was his presence that let me know that big. it was Metatron, yeah. It was big. Mm-hmm. No nonsense. Yeah. And what do these crystals look like coming out of the ground? They were literally like flowers. Really? Like with a stem, but it was a crystal. Wow. It was like really shiny and shimmery. Isn't that, yeah. isn't that interesting? Was, I thought that was a really interesting thing and that the sky was a beautiful color it's too like a purpley pink which doesn't surprise me because we usually see metatron with purple ah so. interesting mm-hmm. interesting and then you got kind of emotional there when you kind of realized you were part of that yeah i was i couldn't believe it i was like this can't be right this, there has to be a mistake. <laughs> yeah it's interesting definitely uh yeah and then i got the energy came in and it was just overwhelming almost how did it feel I almost, I almost thought that I was going to have to tell you to stop so that, I could just, yeah, strong. take a, take a second. Take a break. Mm-hmm. It almost mm-hmm. felt like panic attack or something. Like an anxiety. Yeah. yeah, an anxiety, but I was able to just work through it. And, uh-huh. um, you, you know, did Meta- great. Yeah, Metatron was there. He was like, just, no. Oh. And that's your higher self. Mm-hmm. That's, that's part of it. I thought it was awesome. Mm-hmm. And even the, the, the questions, you know, that I was able to, to put in there for other people because... A lot of people have the same questions. Mm-hmm. Why am I here? I want to go home. Mm-hmm. I don't like it here. I don't like people. Mm-hmm. Why do I have to deal with these people? Mm-hmm. And you're feeling the same way. Yeah, definitely. You know, I want to be by myself. But they're basically telling you, you have to be out there. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. Came here for a mission. We can't pull out now. Yeah. And it seems like if you pull out, you're going to come back as another little yeah. guy yeah. Yeah. to do the same mission. Mm-hmm. So what would you like to tell everybody about this experience? How did it feel to be hypnotized? And um, It was, it wasn't, you know, it, I guess it wasn't what I expected. I was more <laughs> aware than what I, uh-huh. than what I expected. Um, but I mean, I would definitely suggest anyone who's uh, thinking about doing this, I would definitely do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's something that, um, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, when do we ever get to speak with our higher selves? Mm-hmm. Well, you should all the time. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, you should every day, mm-hmm. but you've been told basically you could just connect. Yeah. Yeah. Basically mm-hmm. they're there all the time yeah. talking with us all the time. So just ask for their help. Mm-hmm. And, uh, we're right now in, oh, it's officially Kentucky, Florence, Kentucky. Mm-hmm. We're near the Cincinnati airport area. Mm-hmm. I travel. How far did you travel to come here? Two hours. I'm from Indianapolis, so it's a two-hour drive. Yeah, it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. worth it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was worth it to me. I thought just talking with Metatron was was mm-hmm. was really awesome. And if you would like a session with me, you just go to albaweinman.com. Very easy to schedule an appointment, and I also do travel around everywhere. And you can look on my out of town page, subscribe to my newsletter, and if you hear that I'm coming near you, book it quick. Yeah, yeah, they go really quick. They go really fast. If you look and say, "No, I'll wait till tomorrow," they may not be there. So, uh, book it. There's a lot of people in your area looking for a session. So I hope that you enjoyed this session. It was a nice and quick one, with mm-hmm. but packed with information. And I hope that I will see you also. Okay. Bye. <laughs> go, 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 go.